Welcome back to another episode of Discovery Mountain. I'm Miss Jean. Well, in our last mini adventure, the Discovery Mountain Pathfinder Club started working on their basic swimming honor. But Mia's not so sure she'll ever get over her fear of the water. Meanwhile, Harold's trying to be helpful in his own way. The Pathfinders are all going to learn more about what it takes to exercise their faith and why faith equals freedom. Let's check in with the club as they get ready to swim in today's mini-adventure called Belly Aches. Mia, you're here! Yeah, I'm a little late. I was afraid you weren't going to be here. You didn't forget that we have plans after Pathfinders, did you? No, I didn't forget. I was just feeling a little sick to my stomach earlier. It was probably something I had for breakfast. Oh no, are you okay? Oh yeah, I'm totally fine now. Hey, what do you want to do later? Well, I have this kit for making your own t-shirts, which is always fun. Or we can just hang out like last time. Ooh, the t-shirts sound cool. Hey, what's up? Hey, Harold. Hey, Harold, we're just kicking it. Yeah, are you going in the deep end this week? Maybe, if that's what Miss Simon says. Why? You just seemed a little nervous last time is all. Mia is fine, Harold. Hey, I'm just saying. I'm a pretty good swimmer, so if you need help, I'll be around. That's so nice of you. But Janet's already promised to show me all her awesome dolphin-like skills. Arf, arf! That's a seal noise. Oh, right. Dolphins don't really bark. They do more like chirps and whistles. Uh, okay. I'll see you in the pool. See you, Harold. Bye. <laughs> Jenna and Mia walk toward the ladder to get into the pool for lessons. Mia, today you should try... Logan, no running. Walk slowly or you'll have to sit down. <laughs> Logan just can't stop running around the pool. Maybe being banned from the water for the rest of the day will help him remember. Ooh, the water's cold today. Now, what were you telling me to try? It is cold. Here, try kind of jumping off the floor of the pool like this. See if you float. Try it. I don't know, but okay. <coughs> Ew. I guess while it's in pool water, the taste of chlorine is horrible. Sorry, how did it go? I mean, did you feel like you were, like, weightless? Like an astronaut in outer space? Yeah. No, I felt like my feet couldn't find the bottom of the pool. I thought you were going to keep a hand on me. Well, we're barely in four feet of water, so you're not really in any danger. If I can't swim, I am. Sorry. It's okay. You'll get the hang of it. That's what they told me at junior camp but it never works. Hey guys, they say the best way to learn to swim is for someone to just throw you in. Sink or swim, you know. Which one of those would you like to do right now, Harold? Um, swim? Then swim away, quick. If he ever, he won't. Okay, everybody, let's all meet up in the shallow end. All right, listen up, everyone. Today, we're going to focus on getting more comfortable with the water. Who's comfortable putting their head under? Yumi, you want to show us how it's done? Everybody, let's count Yumi down. Three, Three two, two, one. Good job, Yumi. Good job, Yumi. Take a bow. OK, who's next? I'll do it. It's easy. Watch. Is he, is he coming back? <laughs> <coughs> How was that? <laughs> Good job, Harold. You clearly have no fear of the water. How about a healthy respect for the water? <sighs> True. Okay, Janet, how about you? Sure, Miss Simon. Let me just hold my nose. Three, two, one. <laughs> Good job, Janet. That gets my award for the most elegant submersion. Thanks. 
Miss Simon, I, I feel really queasy all of a sudden. I'm gonna sit on the edge of the pool. Mia, are you all right? Yeah, I was feeling kind of sick to my stomach earlier today. It's probably something I had for breakfast. Okay, we'll try lying back in one of the lounge chairs for a few minutes and see how you feel. Thanks, Miss Simon. Mia watched as the other Pathfinders practiced their basic swimming skills. She put her hand on her stomach, wondering why it kept twisting and turning. She thought back to all the hours she'd spent trying to swim. It came so easily for other people. She wished she could figure out what she was doing wrong. Hey, Mia, mind if I sit next to you? Oh, sure. I mean, that's fine. You know, when I was your age, I wanted nothing more than to be a lifeguard at the camp pool. Really? Yeah. The lifeguards look so cool there in their sunglasses up above us watching everyone. The only problem was that I couldn't even float, let alone keep anyone else safe. Oh? Yeah. Learning to swim wasn't easy. Until it was. Huh? I'll see you next club meeting. Hope you feel better. Well, Mia's second lesson for the basic swimming honor was pretty much over before it started. Can Mia face her fears? Could learning to swim really be easy when she's so nervous about it? Will Harold stop taking himself so seriously? <laughs> well, join us next time for part three of this Discovery Mountain mini-series called Sink or Swim. And stay tuned for Mia and the Pathfinders faith exercise too. I'm Miss Jean, and you've been listening to a mini-adventure in Discovery Mountain, where the air is clear, clear enough to hear your imagination, and where every day is an exercise in faith. Visit us at discoverymountain.com to send us a message and listen to full episodes on demand. Discovery Mountain is a production of The Voice of Prophecy. This four-part mini-adventure series, called Sink or Swim, was written by Tom Paul Wheeler.